But first, it's time for the Spexy Beast to meet the star of the brilliant Sexy Beast. Give it up for the amazing Ray Winston! <laughs> Am I sitting close to you, El? Yeah, sit there, love. Go okay, on. Mate. I don't bite. Oh, <laughs> much. <laughs> How are you doing, love? Do you want a drink? Uh, yeah, what you got? Well, we've got um, a hangaroven bull's blood. No, I lodged that. Really? Got martini. Yeah, go on, a martini. Martini now. Asti. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't oh. going to drink tonight, but I suppose I'd better. Oh, are you doing it or what? Oh, can you do it? Can you be the man? I'll have a bang on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> There you go, love. You're going to be mother? Oh, yes, yeah, say when. <laughs> Why am I acting like this with you? I've turned into, like, a pensioner. <laughs> That's lovely. Oh, there you go. Is it true you've got a bar in your house? Yeah, I have, yeah. It was the first thing I moved into this property. It needed a bit of work. And we had an old garage at the side, like a barn thing. Yeah. And the first thing I kind of built and done when I went there, I turned it into a bar. Oh, yeah. And it's, you've got to go outside and walk to it, you know what I mean? So it's not like a, a pub that's joined to the house where you walk through the house to it. You have to go outside to it. So you feel like you're going out. <laughs> what, what, oh, what's what's the right? name of your bar? Raymondo's. Do you go there to relax and get away from the old rabbit, 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 rabbit? No, but to be honest with you, I, I very rarely go there now. No. Yeah. And I don't want to be like a party animal anymore. But having said that, since December, when I stopped filming, yeah. to take a bit of time off, I've just been partying like I'm 17 again, and it's. Oh my God. I've put on about a stone and a half. Oh, you can't tell, love. You oh, really yeah, can't. really. <laughs> yeah, say that to my wife. I'm telling you. <laughs> and you just do it, and I've just. I've, I've come to the conclusion three, day, three days ago, so I've been very good, yeah. that I haven't been drinking. Oh, yeah, now you're on the old Asti. Yeah. So I've got to tell you, that is the worst drink I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's diabolical. <laughs> I started slagging off the drinks. How would you like that? I wouldn't have cheap shit like that, that's for sure. <laughs> you're so rude. Oh, no. Because <laughs> you're a proper bloke's bloke and, like, there's a lot of women in the house, isn't it? I think you're the only man, aren't you? Even, I've got pigs. Even the pigs are girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even the pigs are girls. It's, uh, I'm just surrounded by women all the time, but I kind of like it. I like yeah? that. Well, they look after you. It's like having a pride of lions here, you know? <laughs> and the women do all the hunting and that, and the guy sits under the tree. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, when it all goes pear-shaped, you have to get out of the way. Yeah. You know, cos they all turn on you, you know? So what was it like growing up with a house full of girls? Cos all I can imagine, it must just stink of hormones and impulse. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Just have to, like, spray a little bit no, of you, just you, to feel you manly. No, you learn very quick. You learn very quick, because women come into season. If they live in the same house... They come, come into season? They come into the season at the same time. They do. <laughs> they really do. They come into season at the same time and it kicks off. So what you do, you work out a plan, how to wind them up. <laughs> You're a brave man. No, and then you can leave, you can get out. Down the pub or wherever you want to yeah, go. Yeah. But they do, and they all stick together. They all turn on you. So you're better off out of the way. So you're saying all their cycles come together. Yeah. yeah. Without any shadow bit of like, doubt. Bit like loose women. <laughs> <laughs> can you watch that? Do you watch that? Yeah, I love loose women. Don't they go on? Love. <laughs> you know what you're getting when you turn it on, love. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, I mean, it just goes on opinionated all day long, and it's like, I can't have it. <laughs> well, that's their job to be opinionated. You can't turn it on and one of them yeah, scratching just, the tip well, going... They, yeah, but they just... <laughs> ah, really? It kind of talks a lot of bollocks, though, really, isn't it? You know, it's... But women can talk a load of bollocks. You're yeah. like me. I like to get away from all that yap, yap, yap. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> a pickle leg, a bit of stout. You know what I mean? <laughs> you and me are very much alike. Yeah. <laughs> Well, your dad, wasn't your dad a footballer? Yeah, my dad's a chief scout now at uh, Newcastle, up the Magpies. Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, your dad was a boxer. Yeah. He wanted you to be one too, didn't he? No, he didn't want me to be a boxer. But I trained. I mean, everyone in my family who were the men kind of boxed, you know, it's yeah. just what you did. And I boxed from about the age of 13 up to about 21, you know. Yeah. And I ended up at a Repton club and all that boxing, yeah. And then you wanted to become an actor, didn't you? Yeah, because I was not very good as a boxer. That's the trouble. So when you told your dad you wanted to be an actor, was yeah. he like, are you some kind of puffer or <laughs> yeah. something? Was he well, like, well, that? No, not really, no. Was like? no, because at that time... <laughs> <laughs> I said, are you <laughs> deaf, blind and dumb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, you didn't quite quit the boxing entirely, did you? No. Is it true you once had a punch up on set with one of your directors? Yeah, he's I'm afraid, yeah. Yeah. What, what happened? He wasn't a very nice man. <laughs> I was doing a job with him years ago. This is, it comes back years ago. And he, he was quite a nasty man. I found out he was quite a nasty man. I think he was one of them people who thought I shouldn't be in the arts and all that kind of stuff because the way I talked and all that. And he's very rude to me on three or four occasions, so I knocked him out. <laughs> uh, I, mean, oh, I love it. No, but I wasn't working a lot at the time. You can understand why. <laughs> and um, I never stopped working from the day after because so many people disliked the man. You got more I started work getting more work, so it, if anyone upsets you, just knock them out. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm going to do that, yeah. yeah. Do you know what? If Philip Schofield <laughs> pisses me off, I'm going to give him a right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He better not mix with me. Yeah. I mean, are you easily riled up? Are you wound up? I used to be when I was younger, yeah. So I I'll keep doing this to you. Yeah. No, that's all right, that's fine. What about that? You fucking do that, I'll kill you. <laughs> You know what, Marley? I know people don't think I can fight, but if someone nicks my glasses, I'm like, you know the Incredible yeah. Hulk? Have you seen that? I'm like... Honestly, <laughs> 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 honestly, I'm scaring you now. Honestly, you it's me, you Alan. Yeah. But this... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm doing WWF shit. Yeah. Clothesline. Pile <laughs> <laughs> on. But I'll bet you can fight. Oh, yeah. You've had to. Oh, I've had to, yeah. Yeah. You should play me in the story of my life. <laughs> To work on the voice. The voice yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very unique voice. It certainly is, yeah. yeah. But I've got quite a unique voice, I think, in a way as well, you know. Yeah. You could probably play me. I could probably could, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Raymondo's, get away from the yeah. old rabbit rabbit. Yeah, exactly. no. <laughs> uh, don't do me, don't do me, see if you can do me. I can't do, I can't do you properly. <laughs> it's, a little bit, it's a little bit like a civil servant. <laughs> Civil servants told. <laughs> More Mr. Bean than civil servants, I think. It's like being in a, a Mike Lee film, do you? Because they've all got funny voices, haven't they, when they do a Mike yeah. Lee film, you know? Yeah, I'm here, it's I can hear you saying like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, the film that got you noticed in Hollywood was Sexy Beast. Yeah. Did you really wear those Speedos on holiday after you'd finished filming? <laughs> I'm looking at that and I'm thinking Kinder Surprise. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just want to open up and see if there's a toy inside. Yeah. <laughs> it's only a toy, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was working in LA. My wife was over with the kids and it. And I said, we've never been to Hawaii. Why are we here? It's only three hours and I fly it. Let's go there for a couple of weeks. And when you go down the pool, there's all the guys, all the Yanks wear like these Bermuda shorts and the baseball caps and all that. Yeah. Well, I'm an Englishman, I'm, you know, we like a speedo. Yeah, we do, we love you a put, speedo. And I had my speedos and I put my speedo... My wife said, you are not going down the pool in them. Cos I dress to the left, you know? Right, right. When it's cold, I dress up the middle. Oh, right, right? yeah. Chatty man exclusive. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we, so we have a little wander down, and she really don't want me to walk down. I walk down and you could, honestly, it's as if you're naked. It's, oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> they just don't do it, don't wear the speedo. No, no. <laughs> Um, we've got to talk about Snow White and the Huntsman. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a darker take on the classic Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Well, it's going back to the old stories, really. Um, yeah. We went to meet the director, um, Rupert Saunders, who is a genius, the kid, and showed me how he was going to do it and all that, and you just fell in love with the idea. And then you find out you're working with Bob Hoskins and That's Ian McShane. I've worked with it? all these guys, so I know yeah. all the boys who are the wolves, you know, and we're the wolves. We've got a little clip here. Oh, have we go, great. Yeah, this is you as Gort. Oh, yeah. Gort the dwarf. Oh, right. Shut them up and feed them to the wolves. Yes! Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> Who is she? She's worth a lot of gold to me, which I'm happy to share with you, stupid little dwarf. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 yes. Gold is yes. worth nothing to any of you if you're all dead. The Queen's men hunt us. They're very close. Shut up. You have love for the Queen. Oh, we have no love for the Queen. <laughs> And you fight against her. No one fights against the Queen. We lost everything when the King died. We fight only for ourselves. Yes. My father was King Magnus. <laughs> you? Does she speak the truth? Yes. She is of the blood.
What have they done to your face? You look a bit like Gordon Ramsay, don't you? Well, you, you get this... <laughs> yeah. Get that well, you effing get... Snow White out that effing tree. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard you were a dwarf, I felt bad for you, you know, about taking, um, yeah. you know, work, genuine work away from, like, genuine dwarfs. No, because they were... <laughs> I mean, a lot of the... Well, you know, yeah, it's they've true. Well, you they put bread on the it's, table. It's very, it's very true. But they were, you know, for every one of us, like Bob Hoskins and that, we had one of the guys with us who'd done a lot of the work, a lot of the graph for us as well. Oh, you know? so you had like a dwarf so accompanying yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It's Bob, like a Bob stag Hoskins, do, isn't it? It? yeah, but Ian McShane and Bob Hoskins' uh, uh, doubles were girls. And I think that says a lot for them too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ray, good luck with the film. Thank you very much. And I hope one day to be inside Raymundo. You're welcome any time. That's the bar, by the way. That's <laughs> The star of The Dictator, General Aladdin, and Rebecca Ferguson will be here. See you in part two. Foster's sponsors original comedy on four. I love the fact it doesn't feel like a, a job. You know, you're not doing anything monotonous, there's always new challenges. You haven't got somebody that you don't like telling...